Mr. Tony, what is the economy of the country like? Well, the economy is primarily dependent in oil production, which is a natural source. The income from oil comprises a percentage of national income, which range up to 80%. It is obvious today that we are enjoying a solid financial position at present and the short term. The fact remains that we could be faced with an economic setback in the long term when the reserve of this natural resource have been depleted. For the nation to establish a solid economic structure, we need to give adequate attention to other sectors, such as agriculture, Before the advent of oil, the country was an agro-based economy, earning all its foreign exchange revenue from cocoa, rubber, oil palm products. More than 80% of the population was engaged in agriculture. The sector accounts for about 75% of our revenue. Oil has changed the situations. Many cities in the country began to witness population explosion. Farmers left their farms and moved to cities in search of other jobs and better living standards. For instance, Economic of People Republic of China is the world's fast growing economy after the United States, with a growth rate averaging 10% over the past 30 years. The treasure base of the economy are agriculture and industry. Given adequate attention to agriculture, by government pay subsidies to farmers to make the sectors more attractive, many school leavers and young graduates will begin fully employed. Poverty and crime rates will be reduced in the country. Education. Education is any process by which an individual gain knowledge or insight or develop attitude or skill. It is the human resources of any nation rather than its physical capital and material resources which ultimately determine the character and space of its economy and social development. Human resources constitute the ultimate basis for the wealth of nations. Capital and natural resources are passive factors of production. Human beings are the active agents who accumulate capital, exploit natural resources, and carry forward national development. A nation which is unable to develop the skills and knowledge of its people and utilize them effectively to the national economy will be unable to develop anything else. This reflects a broad recognition that education contributes to development. Basic education is often considered right. Nations have the responsibility to guarantee to each generation. Even the Holy Bible records that man the one mandates, among others, is to subdue the earth. Genesis 1 verse 28. To do this, man must be appropriately equipped in terms of skills, competence and knowledge. For nations to improve its human capital, the following suggestions are put forth. The capacity to develop talents, to deploy talents, and the capacity to draw talents from elsewhere, electricity and water supply. The importance of energy 
in the development process of any nations is well known. Adequate energy is an important factor in the production process and indispensable factor in social and economic activities and overall qualities of the life of the populations. Unfortunately, the supply of electricity undoubtedly the key energy source for industrial, commercial and domestic activities in the modern world fall short of demand. There are three basic infrastructural facilities that must be in place before any economy can drive. These are electricity, water and good road. Since you virtually lack all these at present, it is not difficult to fortune why the economy is constantly in a state of distress. The best way to improve on any economy is by ensuring that all these three basic facilities are available. Of these three basic facilities, the greatest of them is electricity. It is common knowledge that without electricity, we may not be able to pump and distribute water. Without the same resource, they may not be raw and finished products to move about on the road. In this modern age of mechanization, large-scale and productive farming depend mainly on adequate availability of relevant energy. Lack of adequate energy negatively affects all low-level workers. This includes but not limited to weathers, barber, shoemakers, laundry workers, tailors. Nearly all small-scale manufacturers have closed down their factory, mainly due to lack of energy. I know that our leaders has good intention to turn this around for good. But good intentions alone are never enough. Just as faith without work is valueless. We must be doers and not only speakers and planners. Buildings and construction. The construction industry contributes significantly in terms of scale and share in the development process of any nation for both developed and developing countries. The construction products provide the necessary public infrastructures and private physical structure for many productive activities, such service, commerce, and other industries. The industry is not only important for its finished product, but it also employs a large number of people during the actual construction process. It is time that our construction industries become a first world reckoning in international scale. We could learn from the Norwegian building and construction industries, which have attracted international attention for its innovative design and exceptional products. Norwegian manufacturers export first class timber and wood products and other building components worldwide. Norwegian classic example is a precedent that our industry should set benchmark on. Transport and communication. A well-disciplined system of transport and communication is important for rapid economic growth. Easy means of transport and communication are almost important for economic development. If we economically compare adverse countries with backward countries, we will find a better system of transport and communication in adverse countries. Why traffic jams and other irregularities are in the system of transport and communication of backward countries. Our economic development is conditional to a strong network of transport and communication. If the transportation and communication of a country is well developed, then there is no barrier for its economic development. All over the world, countries are realizing that roads are big business. The means of transportation and communication are the basic infrastructure of a country. Natural resources like mineral, mountain and forests are the basis for development. Their existence is not the guarant of economic development, but their efficient utilization is the basis for development. The efficient supply of raw material depends upon transportation. The development of transportation means that goods and services 
are supplied far away areas of countries. The key to success is to ensure that all of these are put in place in a timely and well-coordinated fashion. The civil service is an important institution of the state, affecting the life of citizens daily. It is essential to modern life because of the role it plays. The quality of civil service is important to the quality of modern life. As an agent of development of any nation, the transformation of any society or system depends upon effectiveness and efficiency of its civil service. Some of the challenges facing the civil service not to function effectively as an agent of development include the following. Poor remuneration. Despite the increment in salary, the civil service salary is still very low. Because of the low salary, most of them are engaged in sharp practice. Some of them keep business letterhead in papers. For the civil service to be more effective in its developmental role, the following suggestions are put forth. Appointment into civil service should be based on merit and qualification. The civil service should be made attractive in all respects. The civil servant should be motivated to stimulate them to effective efforts because individual production capacity depends very largely on one level of psychic satisfaction. This will increase the level of commitment, hard work and creativity. It is weighing on that over 70% of the country population today is experiencing untold hardship in the land, which is a painful development. Considering the fact that the country is well blessed with abundant human, natural and mineral resources, and this hardship is due to social economic hill presently facing the country. And the first social hill I want to point out is unemployment, where people who are qualified for jobs and willing to work have nothing to do. From one city to the other, you find them. The problem is that the white collar jobs available in the land are grossly inadequate compared to the numbers of graduate presents, which keep on increasing daily. Even when government creates out some jobs, they are still not enough. And most of our graduates are disappointed when they realize there's nothing for them at the end of the day. Many workers, both in the private and the public sectors, experience delay in their salary payments. Some are on for three, four, five months before they are paid. Those who once had hope in their employers are now hopeless. Just believe in God for better tomorrow. This has brought untold hardship in the families of many who can barely make ends meet. Many of our unemployed end up either as thieves. Some are recruited as the talks of politicians who are desperate to crush any force that comes on their way. Many of our girls also end up as harlots just to make ends meet. It is no surprising seeing or hearing our young ladies gang up with robbers in perpetuating crimes. Many of our graduates today have decided taking up many jobs to leave. It is very certain that if this ugly trade is not effectively handled, in the next five to seven years, the situation will be very tense. My suggestion with regard to how the dangerous phenomenon could be tackled is for our people to go back to land. Instead of our youths and young graduates to be depending on government, for what color jobs which are not so hardly available and then wasting away. I would advise that we center our attentions on agriculture, which I believe will be of great benefit and satisfaction. Our country is blessed with so much mineral resources, coupled with rich fertile lands, that investing in any of these will yield profits. Our young people may be unwilling to return to land. Certain reasons such as life in the village being dull, lack of social amenities in the rural areas, few opportunities for further learning and training. And this could be corrected if the government could give cash grant to school leavers or pick up farmers. Provision of more social amenities in these rural areas, improve agricultural facilities and materials. If the suggested remedies are taken into consideration by government, Farming will be more interesting. Our young people, including graduates, we embrace it more. Human rights are moral principles and norms that describe certain standards of human behavior and regularly protected as a legal right to which a person is inherently entitled simply because he or she is a human being and which are inherent in all human beings, regardless of the nation, location, 
religious, language, ethnic origin, or any other status. They are applicable everywhere, at every time, in the sense of being universal. They should not be taken away, except as a result of due process, based on some specific circumstances, and require freedom from unlawful imprisonment, torture, and execution. Many organizations around the world dedicate their efforts for the protection of human rights and bringing an end to human rights abuse. Major human rights organizations document violation and call for immediate action, both at the governmental and grassroots level. Public support and condemnation of abuse is important to sources as human rights organizations are more effective when their supports are backed by strong public advocates. United for Human Rights encourage everyone to visit the following website and to become active in one or more of the organization programs, such as Amnesty International. Amnesty International is a worldwide movement of people who campaign for international recognized human rights for all with more than 2.2 million members and subscribers in more than 150 countries. They conduct research and generate action to prevent and end the great abuse of human rights and to deny justice to those whose rights have been violated. Human Rights Watch. Human Rights Watch is dedicated to protect the human rights of people around the world. They investigate and expose human rights violations, hold abusers accountable, challenge governments and those who hold power to end abusive practice and respect international human rights law. Human rights without frontier focus on monitoring, research and analysis and the field of human rights, as well as promotion of democracy and the rule of law and the national and international level. United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, on which is known as UNESCO. UNESCO's goal is to build peace on the mind of men. It works on the field of human rights, aimed to strengthen awareness and act as a catalyst for regional, national, and international level. United Nations Children Fund, which is known as UNICEF. UNICEF is mandated by the United Nations General Assembly to advocate for the protection of children's rights, to help meet their basic needs, and to expand their opportunity to reach their full potential. UNICEF mobilizes political will and material resources to help countries, particularly developing countries, ensure first call for children. Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees is mandated to lead and coordinate international action to protect refugees and resolve refugee problems worldwide. Its primary purpose is to safeguard the rights and well-being of refugees. Cars is a compulsory sum leveled by the government or its agency on individuals and firms or on goods and services for the purpose of meeting the cost of its expenditure or for providing economy and social benefit for the public. Tax has two elements, the tax base and the tax rates. The tax base refers to the items or objects which is tasks. It includes personal income, export and imports, company profits, and property. The tax rates refer to the percentage or proportion 
of the task base, which is to be paid as tasks, functions of tasks. It is used to raise revenue for the government. It is used to redistribute income, to protect infant industry, to correct and advance balance of payments. It is used to reduce the consumption and production of commodities, which are considered harmful or luxurious. Types of tasks. Tasks is subdivided into two, direct and indirect tasks. Direct tasks are tasks level on income of individuals and firms and of their properties. It includes wages, salary, profits, rent and interests. The system of direct tasks includes by progressive, by regressive, and by proportional. Progressive task is a form of task in which the tax rates increase as the income or stock of weights or property to be tasked increase. It is also known as pay as you earn. The regressive task. Regressive task is a form of task in which the tax rates decrease. As the income of stock of waste or property to be taxed increase. Proportional tax. The tax rates remain the same, irrespective of the level of income or waste. Indirect tax. Indirect tax are tax level on goods and services. It could be in form of custom duty excise duty, purchase and sales tasks. The system of indirect tasks include by ad volume and specific. Ad volume tasks is tasks imposed on commodity in accordance with its value as specified percentage. Why specific task is a task imposed by unit of commodity, irrespective of its value. The desire to uplift one society is the false desire of every patriotic citizen. Task payment is the demonstration of such desire. One of the greatest problems facing our country task system as the problem of tax evasion and avoidance. Tax evasion is an illegal practice where person, organization and corporation intentionally avoid paying its or tax liability. Why tax avoidance is a situation where person, organization and corporation arrange its affair legally so that it pay less tax as he might otherwise pay.